Hey YouTube, this is IBA here, and I just have a little tutorial for you guys, and it is going to show you guys how to get iOS 4.3 on any device without having a developer account. Now before I start this, you're going to do this at your own risk. I do not suggest you guys do this for iPhone users because you, you will have your baseband updated permanently and you're just going to be screwed. So for iPhone users, I suggest you guys do not do this. If you have an iPod Touch or an iPad, then I would do it. Alright, so first of all, I just want to show you guys that I am not running 4.3 already. General. About. And there you go right there, version 4.1. Alright, I was on 4.2.1, but I had to get an untethered jailbreak because I was sick of the tethered one, so yeah. Alright, so what you need to do is you need to have iPhone box downloaded and the links will be down below and iOS 4.3 so what you need to do is you need to plug in your device and mine is plugged in and iTunes should show up alright guys so here you are as you can see right here my software is on 4.1 you need to be on something obviously lower than 4.3 so what I would suggest doing is downgrading to 4.2.1 or 4.1 if you can Okay guys, and one other thing that I forgot to tell you guys is you're going to need Red Snow for either Windows or Mac 0.9.6 RC8. This will be what you need to jailbreak in order to be able to run your firmware. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to hold down Shift and click Update. Do not click Restore, click Update. And then you're going to browse for the 4.3 firmware. Mine is right here, as you can see, 4.3. Double click on that and click update. And it will verify with iTunes. Alright guys, and while my iPod is being updated, I just figured I would go ahead and let you guys know on what features will be available for each device. So for the iPod Touch, really there isn't going to be many features other than a new FaceTime icon. And as for iPad users, you have the option of choosing between the rotation lock and mute switch for the side switch that's on the iPad and it will either you can either use it for lock rotation or for mute. You will also get a new font, new message alert settings, airplay for third party apps, four and five finger gestures for iPad, and a personal hotspot that turns your iPhone into a Wi Fi hotspot using three G coverage. Okay guys, so my device is restarting. Right now I just see the Apple logo on my iPod Touch. Alright guys, so as you can see here, it says my software version is 4.3. It is just finishing up a few more sync options here. And let me just slide to unlock. And I can see the new FaceTime icon. Alright, and it is fully functional. Everything is still the same. The jailbreak is gone, but to jailbreak, I will show you guys that right now. Okay, alright guys, so all you gotta do is run Red Snow now. And I have pulled up the Red Snow properties. I'm gonna go to Compatibility. I'm gonna run this in Service Pack 2, just to be safe. And I'm also gonna run this program as Administrator. And you're gonna click Apply, and then click OK. And then you can go ahead and run the program reason why I do that is just for a little extra uh, assurance that this is going to work. Okay. Alright guys, so you're just going to browse for your firmware really quick, but you're not going to click on the one that is for 4.3, you're going to click the one that is for your 4.2.1 jailbreak. So you, it's going to process the firmware, and it has been successfully identified. So now you're going to click next. It's going to do what it needs to do. and you are just going to install Cydia, click next. Now you gotta make sure your device is powered off. And mine is now powered off. Reason why I'm not showing you guys this is because I've showed you guys many other times and it's I'm sure by now you guys have done this before. So I'm going to click next and as you guys know it's gonna ask me to hold the power button for three seconds, hold both the power and the home button for 10 seconds, let go of the power button and keep holding the home button for about 15 more seconds, okay? So I'm going to click in next right now and I'm holding the power button. 
Now I'm holding both. And I'm letting go of the power button by keeping on the home button for 10 more seconds here. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And you can go ahead and let go. Now it is going to upload the RAM disk and it's going to do all the other needed stuff. Right now my iPod Touch is going crazy with all these little letters and numbers on the screen. And it's just a black screen. You guys have seen it before. Nothing new. Very, very simple. Alright guys, so my iPod Touch has finished and it will do this for your iPhone and iPad. Now what it is, is a completely black screen with this little white rectangle in the top left corner. Don't freak out, this is normal. What you need to do is you need to reboot your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. So all you gotta do is just hold the power button and the home button for about 10 seconds till the screen goes black and then the Apple logo will show up. Then you can let go of both and just let it do its thing. Now keep in mind this is still plugged in because the next step will involve removing a few command lines and uh, it's gonna deal with iFunbox. Alright guys, so my device is done rebooting and there is nothing on my home screen except for ra random apps. There are no mandatory apps and no dock icons. So what you guys need to do is you need to click finish on the red snow, go into iFunbox, drag the application to your desktop, and go ahead and run it. It's going to do its thing, it's going to connect the device, and as you can see here, it is connected to owner's iPod. So what you need to do is you need to navigate to raw file system, double click on that. Then you need to go to system, library, and double click on core services, which is right here. Alright guys, so now what you need to do is you need to right click system version, go to open, and you're going to open it with notepad, okay? Now we are going to remove the following lines, and I will put them in the description below. We are going to find key, release type, and then key. So as you can see right here, it says key, release type, key, and then you just you start with this arrow over here and end with this arrow over here. Click delete. And you're also going to, re to remove string, beta, string. So as you can see, that is the next one right here. String, beta, string. And stop at this last arrow right here. Click delete. And then you're going to click save. And then you can exit out of that. And you can also exit out of iFunbox. Now what you need to do is you need to reboot your device, so hold the power button and slide the power off. And then you can turn it right back on. Alright guys, so you should have a fully functional device now, and it will be running 4.3. If you don't, then I would suggest not messing around with this anymore and go right back down to 4.2.1 or 4.1. Once again, I do not recommend you guys do this at all, just if you want to see the new features. Really, this would be ideal for iPad users, but for iPod Touch users and iPhone users, it is not really that effective. iPod users because it doesn't have many changes, and iPhone users because you really don't want to mess up your baseband, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below, thumbs it up, and of course subscribe up top for future jailbreaks. And this is IBA, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.